terms with the fact that your son is the Yorkshire Ripper? Oh, naturally, we had to come to terms with that, yes. Um, the, the whole city was just like on this kind of high alert. I think people just went around knowing that this, there was somebody about that, that was actually killing people in this way. And um, it was so high news um, at the time because they'd not caught the person and because the way that he was killing people was so uh, bad um, that you were never ever really went a day without it being talked about or actually on the news at some point. The murder victim was identified tonight as 20-year-old Jacqueline Hill, the killer they a student who had been living in the area of the city. The narrow back alleys around Bradford's University were sealed off tonight as police made a detailed search of the area. The body was found by a patrolling officer. And that I hope he goes rotten from head to foot if the police don't get him first. And I would really, I really would like to put a curse on him. And I'm not a person like that. So this is a terrible hurt that I have for him and hate. I, I worked in um, a place called Elijah Gibbs on Weishall Road at the time, um, which was a uh, quite a big employer in Leeds. And they actually brought the tape in that we now know has been a false, false evidence tape. And that was quite scary because all production stopped and they just played this tape um, with the, you know, if anybody recognises the voice or has got any information or that kind of thing, uh, you know, to contact the police. Uh, and they were say, encouraging at one point everybody to look at their own families, uh, you know, in a suspicious way, basically, because they, they just hadn't a clue. It could have been um, your, your father, your brother, your husband, your next door neighbour. Everybody, in a sense, was under suspicion. You know, you can't imagine being married to a man and them having that kind of activity going on in their life and not knowing anything about it uh, as a wife. That means that any one of us are capable of living with a murderer and not knowing. You know, so that's, that's quite a scary thought. Um, and I do sometimes think, well, no, she can't have known anything. You wouldn't be able to sit back and be quiet about a thing like that. But. Um, I do find that extremely interesting that you could actually know somebody and live with somebody that was capable of that kind of thing and not have a clue. That's a, that's a damaged mind at its best, I suppose. joke that uh, we used to, you know, he was a nickname the Ripper, and he used to answer to that sometimes, so it was, you know, it's rather, it's rather sort of, it's sad now, isn't it? So, yeah, that, it was a, the feeling of being on edge and not ever wanting to go out late on your own and be, be aware all the time, and I think that's what made me be aware all the time. I was walking back from the primary school at Wheatwood. I noticed a man who was stood outside a shop staring. And it was the way he was staring it made me shiver and I just thought that man doesn't look like he's up to any good. And he, he was the ripper. And I only knew that when his picture got released and he got, he got sort of uh, arrested and charged with everything. It freaked me out totally that I'd, I'd even thought that anything could 
to be like that, but he must have just been standing watching. And it was at, at that time when, you know, a few months after the victim in my area was found. It, I felt shivered down my spine at the time and just didn't understand, so it must have been a very intuitive thing that I'd seen this person but wasn't able to explain why he was stood staring and why he was just stood there but at that time I didn't call the police or anything because he hadn't done anything. One of my friends, Ziggy, um, he had a sister and his sister was murdered by the woman. Probably about the second or third murder. She, she was a prostitute in Chapel Town but I think her body was found on the basement. I cannot tell you that because I've not heard him speak. Can you give us any details? I can tell you that we are absolutely delighted with developments at this stage. Absolutely delighted. Can you, you, can you all smile? Really delighted. Can you get it closer? You're all delighted as well. Can you get it closer? 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 Yes. Absolutely delighted. Yes.